Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. Welcome to the ultimate guide to Salesforce formula fields. This series of videos is going to be a snippet from my course where I show you how to master Salesforce formula fields. I'm putting this out here for free for all of my Salesforce family. This course will take you through the basics of what a formula field is, creating your first formula field, going over the must know formula functions and more. At the end, if you want to take your formula knowledge to the next level, following real life examples and projects to become a formula fiend, check out the description below where the course is discounted for only $5. If you want more video tutorials like this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on some advanced formula techniques that you use. Thank you all so much for watching and remember, I believe in you. Formula fields let you on the fly calculate, manipulate, and display your Salesforce org's information. I believe they are the foundation for all Salesforce automation. Process builder, flow builder, even visual force pages use formulas for advanced calculations of data. In this video, we will be going over what a formula field is, some of the different types of formula fields, functions that can be used in formula fields, and overall problems with formula fields for you to take note of. Formula fields are used to calculate information on a record. These formulas are done automatically by Salesforce without the user needing to break out a calculator or do any type of hand math. For example, if you want to discount an opportunity by 14%, Every time it has a certain product, a formula field can do that for you pretty easily. You can also pull information from different related objects using formula fields. This is called a cross object relationship and it's very powerful. Very simple example is if you want to display on the opportunity the account's primary contact, you just use a formula field to pull that in. All of this is done in the formula field editor. This is a text editor window that gives you access to that object's Salesforce fields, any related object fields, and formula functions as well. Formula field editor is not exclusive to the formula fields. It can also be found in validation rules, process builder, and flow builder. Once you learn formula fields, you will also know how to create formulas in these other automation tools. If you're familiar with Excel formulas and the functions that are there, you will be right at home. A lot of the same functions and capabilities that Excel has are baked right into Salesforce. There are a few different formula field types. The type of calculation that you're doing dictates your formula return type. If you want to display a rep's commission on a sale, you'll most likely be using a numeric return type like currency. If you don't need the dollar sign in front of that, use the number return type. Use the checkbox return type to evaluate true and false expressions and text to display information. There are temporal return types as well for time calculations, but watch out for those time zones. Cross object formulas must be one of the types I mentioned above. They go through the current objects relationships to do calculations. Just like in Excel, there are functions that can be used in formula fields to save time and do advanced calculations like the square root of a number. There are hundreds of Salesforce functions to learn. Some functions you'll be using very frequently, for example, the if statement, which based on some expression will give you a true result or a false result, concatenation, which is the combination of information, or just simple arithmetic operations like addition and subtraction. Other functions are situation specific, like is change, which will tell you when a value has been updated on a record. Another one is is pick list val, which will help you understand what the current value of a pick list is. Throughout this course, we will explore each of these functions, giving real world scenarios of where they can be used. The formula field editor gives you access to system variables. System variables are org and context specific values. For example, you can use the current user's 
system variable to only display information to a certain type of profile using that system variable we talked about. I just explained how amazing formula fields are, and now you want to go out and make a hundred of them. But hold your horses. There are some problems with formula fields you should be aware of. Formula fields calculate on record load. What does that mean? Only when the user clicks on a record or they're viewing that information, even on a report, that is when the information or the formula executes. That is when the calculation takes place. Once the user is seeing that information, the value in the formula field is not held in the database anywhere for quick access. This is different than regular fields which are stored inside of the database. One drawback of the on-the-fly calculation is that pages can load slower. If you have a ton of formula fields on a page or report, it can really bog down the user's load times. There are certain limits to formula fields to protect you from locking up the system with too complex a formula. There's an overall character limit of almost 4,000 and a few other limits you should be aware of. Let's get into time zones, the bane of every programmer's existence, and formula fields are no exception. When working with date and time related formula fields, be careful to work in the correct time zone. Normally everything will be expected to be in GMT and you'll need to offset your formula field to get the correct time zone. Since formula fields are not stored in the database, they cannot easily be used to trigger other automation tools. For example, if a formula field checkbox gets marked true every 25th day of the month, there is no way to trigger a process builder to fire based on that formula field checkbox being changed to true. There may be other ways to accomplish this, but the formula field cannot do this by itself. Don't let these limits stop you from creating formula fields. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. As a Salesforce professional, you need to be aware of these limits and restrictions of formula fields. Check the resources below for the full list of all formula field limits. Formula fields are the stepping stones to all automation in Salesforce. In the next videos, we will be creating our first formula field along with going over every different return type we talked about. We will also be breaking down each and every function, going over the most common ones to the extremely obscure functions that you may never use. There is also a curated trail mix designed for you to master formula fields. With a little time and exposure, you will be a formula fiend, creating formula fields left and right and reaching those maximum limits. And remember, I believe in you. In this video, we will be creating our first formula field. What we want to get done is get the calculation of the net income of this sale. We have this opportunity, the 2019 Smoyota Parola, that we are selling for $600. And as a lot of you may know, when you're selling a car, you have to make sure that your paperwork is in check. One of those items is the title, and sometimes you may need to get a new title if you've lost yours, and let's say that we did in this instance, and it's going to cost us $50 to get a new title. What we want to get done is to minus this $50, or the cost of the title, from our overall selling amount so we can calculate our net amount that we are going to get. To do this, let's start by navigating and going into the setup. Object Manager, find our Opportunity Object, we will be calculating this automatically on the fly on record load using a formula field. This will be the first formula field we create in this series to get an understanding of what formula fields can do. Navigate to Fields and Relationships, hit New. Really quickly, we can read here the definition of a formula field, a read-only field that derives its value from a formula expression you define. The formula field is updated when any of these source fields change. We'll hit next to select that field data type. Let's pick a field label of net income. 
anywhere so that Salesforce generates a field name. And scrolling down, we can see all of the formula return types that are available to us. Our next videos will explore all of the different return types. For now, we will select currency because we are doing some type of dollar calculation. We will leave our decimal places as two. Looking around at the simple formula field editor, in the first dropdown, we have the objects that we are selecting from. In this case, we want to access fields on the opportunity object to run our calculation. So we are selecting opportunity. In the second pick list, we have all of the fields that we have access to run any of our calculations on. The next dropdown is the operations that we have access to. So we can add, subtract, multiply, use exponents, and have open and close parentheses for order of operations. In this text area is the formula editor. This is where we'll be writing our actual formula. At the bottom, we have the check syntax, which will let us know if our formula compiles correctly or if there are any errors. At the bottom, we have the standard description and help text that we always want to fill in for additional information. So let's do this calculation. What we want to do is subtract our overall amount from our title cost. I will go into the insert merge fields, add in the amount, go into the insert operation, add subtract, and then finally add in our title cost from the insert fields. That should be it. Let's check to make sure that our syntax is correct. Perfect, we got no errors. Let's hit next, next to put this on our layout and see the results. I just created this formula field, but I'm not seeing any values. There could be a bunch of different reasons behind this, but most likely it's just Salesforce calculating across all of the records, this new formula that we created. So let's refresh again. There you have it. We can see that our net income has loaded in. We are doing the amount minus 50 to get 550. This calculation is done automatically. So if we change our title amount, we can see that our net income drops down to 500. If we change our overall selling amount, we can see our net income automatically calculates once more. So that is creating our first formula field. In the next video, we'll be going over each of the individual formula field return types, starting with the checkbox.